all fathers, parents, coaches, this is the best teaching tool to use your hands, stay inside the ball, create the back path that you need consistently to, to, to have a good swing. I'm Frank Gregory. The Camel Bats was probably one of the best hitters in the 90s and probably one of the best hitters overall in the game of baseball, Mo Bond. And uh, Mo, uh, you coach young players. And, uh, uh, tell me how you came about our bats. I saw this bat. I was playing the tournament in Sarasota. I played against the team that before the game was really used this bat off the team, flips. And I knew from where the bat was built. And it was something that was going to be successful and could really help my friends. Right. So I went online, found out this was a camp one guy, and you know, I ordered a couple of things. Right, right. And this is the best teaching tool that I've run across for young kids in the game. All fathers, parents, coaches, this is the best teaching tool to use your hands, stay inside the ball, create the back path that you need consistently. To, to have a good swing. But the best thing about this is the least amount of talking you can do at seven or eight year olds, and I was going to six and seven year olds, right. you need tools. You need good material, good products that will help you coach. Right. It's a, exactly. This is the best product out there to coach up for you. And, and I'm, tr I'm trying to, uh, obviously, you understand uh, we have a lot of top players that use the bat and use it for their kids. But can you explain why for a lot of a lot of kids, why it's important to have the weight down here on the hands. As a matter of fact, I love this. You actually took this bat and actually added a little more weight right. to your son. This is you a, this is actually a 28, because as I was reading you know, your manual, you know, you need to use the same length that you right. know, the, the right. bats are. And I cut this, this I cut this to right. the right size. But I, I actually put some more weight in for my son. But the reason why this works is that the weight is in the hands. And the weight being in, in the hands forces you to throw your hands at the ball and then the barrel comes through. And that's what, take your hands to the ball. Don't go and hear people talking about the knob, it's not the knob. It's your hands to the ball. And the weight in the bottom and the weight on the top creates that effect. And that's, that's what it is. Throw your hands to the ball and then the barrel comes through on the right bat path. You can be early, you can be late, you can be on time. But using this bat keeps that bat path in the strike zone as long as possible and it gives you a, uh, an optimal chance to hit. Okay. What happens when you go from that bat to a bat, a regular bat? It's not oh, really. Enough, and it's even better. Yeah. Like if I, if, no. It gives you more control? It, it's, first of all, it shows you how to use your hands. And now today also, the fact that you know, I'm in you know, middle school now, you're making these aluminum bats drop three. Right, so if you right. have to use a 33, you got to use a 30, no, 34, 30, right. 31. So for me, you know, I'm thinking long term for my son. Absolutely. This is 26 inches in length, but it's 32, 32 ounces. Right. So this prepares the young guys to be ready for junior high and high school. That is one of the biggest problems that we have. Issues. We have a lot of kids that come up and swinging. Eight drop tens. Right, 18 ounce uh, bats, even lighter. Right. And then all of a sudden they have them this big heavy bat and all the weights out here on the barrel. Boom. Well, the first thing that happens, that barrel takes over and now we're out around the zone we start instead of pulling and letting the barrel go through exactly. the zone. So, best tool out there. Can't work that too. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy it.